Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And this is the first video where I can give you the big smile. Well, I get a lot of suggestions in the comments on my videos, and I've been doing all this series on putting in the NVIDIA Grid K1. I've already forgotten what it's called, but I got a lot of suggestions on how the, the X8 a PCI Express port wasn't good enough that I should get a something else and I totally agree and I actually did that someone suggested something pretty awesome in the comments and I thought hmm I'll get one of those it was really quick he suggested it I followed the link and I bought it and it was like it, it looked it looked cool so I don't think it's gonna work but um, that's what I want to show you. Let's go to the computer here in the back and uh, have a look at this. And sorry it's not a computer it's actually a server and it's the IBM System X 3650 model 3 which is the same model that I put in the graphics card. So uh, and I got a package here that's uh, where it came from. I bought this one on eBay because that was where the link went to. I got this thing from Great Britannia and it's a PCI Express riser card and this is for putting in a computer and well changing the angle or something of the graphics card and it it looks to be working pretty awesome here if we take the riser card off the server we can kind of see that it's it's kind of rising it to the right level and stuff the graphic card would need to be up here so that part is really awesome, um, but the thing that is not awesome is that uh, if you see down here, the slot for the riser card on the system board, well that has more pins. So there are missing some pins up here in front and also the back of it, there's a lot of pins left over. This thing is just a little bit too long so it doesn't really go down there. And that would not be anything of a problem because nothing is out here. It's just a tap. I would just break that off. But then that would go down here. Awesome, right? But I looked at the thing that came with it. And there is a lot of different stuff going on here. There's a lot of power. I'm guessing these thick ones are power coming out of um, the leads here. So. The front ones might be just extra power leads that goes up into this one. Um, but on the back of it, I have been following some of these and they're, well, first they're offset. And I wouldn't be sure that they are actually going straight through. Like this one, they're just going straight through. You can see the lines. They're just going up there. Connections on both sides. So that, that sh could be good, and not necessarily a bad idea. It might be the same thing going on here, just everything is offset. And the reason it's offset is because if I put this one and this one on top of each other, like that, uh, they, they have to line up with this empty slot here. If I do that, it's pretty obvious a oh, graphics card would be sitting in a weird place because uh, well, let's see that would be something like this uh, something like this so it would be sticking out of the server that would probably not be a big problem but also on this riser board there is a lot of capacitors uh, spaced all over the place and there is even a little bit of electronics down here, U6 and U7 and some LEDs up here. And I did notice at a time, oh, we didn't see the LEDs, at a time where I was playing with the graphics card and I was very fast just getting rid of it to get my uh, screen working again, I took this, I took the graphics card out and I didn't put in anything instead. And shortly after, uh, the, the server did boot but it did also complain about not having this card. So it's not, it's not not being used. I'm really uncertain if this would work. I just removed the screws on this thing so that we can have a 
closer look at this board. We have some power strips going back here. I'm guessing that would be power or ground. And the same thing back here. We have, the, looks like the, the back of it, the last pins are also um, power or ground. There's a big ground connection right there. A lot of stuff is going on here, that's, that's for sure. It's not just going through, there is some extra things here. And I'm struggling a little bit if it's safe to to do this. They might have mixed pins up here, just made it a little bit more difficult. Want to sell their own boards here. But it would actually not be dangerous just to put this in, because that's just passing everything through. I would just be moving the connection from here and up to there. And well, I don't think anything bad would be able to happen out of that. But I'm pretty sure it would be complaining about missing this board because that's probably what some of this electronics is for. Telling the server that this riser card is in the server. So not having that feedback to the server might disable this riser card at all so that I would not get any signals out of it. Have anyone tried this? It might not be a card like this. It could also be the flexible ones. It's more or less exactly the same thing. You put in a print down here and you just have flexible wires going up to a connection like this. Um, anyone tried that? The short version is that there is a lot more going on here in ju than just passing through the connections. What I really wanted is the the riser card with an X16 slot. They are rare and expensive as hell. So if anyone has any good links to that one, uh, I'll put the model number down here. It's similar to this IBM number, but it's different. I would really like one of those. It would be really awesome if that one was so simple that it could be copied. I've been looking at this a little bit and it looks rather sophisticated. I'm not sure how many layers this print is, but well, they have a lot of holes going through here, which means that uh, this side is connecting to this side. But it might be the pins on this side that are going over to this side. And so all the connections are going up here. And that might be it, which is a little bit weird. But so I would like to know if anyone have have tried this system just passing them through and what their result was on that and this goes for the IBM X3650 model 2 and model 3 they have the same board of these I know that nothing will happen if I just plug this in but it might fry the whole system if I um, plug anything into this because then I might let out the smoke from the system board or something critical. That would be really stupid. So I will wait a little bit on that one. Yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. Well, definitely not a bad suggestion on this. It could work. It still might be good. It might complain like hell when the server is not able to find this board. But if it passes it through, it would be awesome. But I think it's a little bit risky without further investigation, just plucking this in and hoping for the best. I might fry the system board. If anyone has any links to the X16 version of this, I would be really interested because I really want one of them. <laughs> so, uh, well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And maybe if someone find one of these that is affordable enough for me to buy that are bloody expensive, uh, you might see that as well. So have a nice day. Bye bye.